Hey guys, Gunshy More back here with another video. So today we are going to be reviewing a mod, Arc Horizons. And right now this mod only adds in one creature, the Lib Labro Renthro Dante, I believe is how you're supposed to say it. Say it. Labo Renthro Dante. Yeah. Uh name was probably flashing on the screen. And uh yeah, so this is the only creature added in so far by the mod, and it does come in several variants. We do got an Aberrant, a Tropical Crystal variant, and a Sunken, which only spawns on uh, the Sunken Island map, I believe is another modded map. If I do find it, I will link it in the description. But anyways, if we hop in here real quick, as you can see here, we got the Labro Renthrodonte, or the Lady. So, as you can see here, it's quite an impressive creature. It is the largest amphibious creature now on the island, thanks to this mod. And if I quickly hop on it, we got several kinds of attacks. So, if I hit left click, we got a bite attack. And if you do eat a creature while you are biting, you will get a 35 second health, like a health regen buff. Same like as the Argentavis. And I also believe it does produce organic polymer over time. Yep. Like almost, I believe it can produce up to five, like a, at a time, like per. So something kind of like, uh, I do believe, I want to say like the gotchas maybe, where you have to breed them or like you get different variants that drop different ones. But yeah. But now if I go to my right click, I got to swipe. And if I hit C, I got a belly slam. And now, one that I'm quite wondering how it's going to look is X, which is our toxic gas. Which, it kind of looks more like I throw up a cloud of uh, dirt, but here, it's probably cooling down still. Uh, I was still in K mode, dang. Where I am now. There we go. Um, X. Can I do that yet? No, that's probably the timer up there on the right. But anyways, if I hit left control, that is a lot better sound than the last one. <laughs> but yeah, this taunt sounds a lot better than the last one I heard from Giga. I'm still, I'm still shook by that one. I want you to know that. But anyways, now that my X is probably cooled down here, yeah. Kind of looks just like a puff of dirt, but yeah. Uh, there are other variants here. So if I quickly hop off here. So the sunken and tropical variant here, which we'll quickly look at. These two here do have a slightly different uh, thing than all the others. They do get a hydration buff when entering the water, much like the Spinosaurus. And the sunken variant added for the collaborations with the sunken world. Gas attack now, I believe, inflicts a range debuff to the enemies or whatever, a rage debuff. And its bite now allows them to harvest silica pearls. So, yeah. So, we got these two here. Um, is this aberrant one all right? Are they all all right? I'm just noticing they're, like, vibrating. Are they cold? <laughs> Anyways, but we got the aberrant version here, which... Luckily, it is starting to become night, so you can see the differences in the color. I honestly thought, like, the color was going to be in between from when it was daytime, but no, it's actually in that black there showing up through the orange, which looks really nice compared to the normal one. I made sure these ones were both exactly the same color so I could tell the difference. So, as you can see here, yeah. Vastly. like That's, like, I did not expect the colors to actually just be mixed in with the black stripes but yeah they look amazing so yeah then the crystal one does have its own uh like underbelly color here which is also glowing um i'm not seeing its crystals on its head glow either but ooh, the sunken variant has a little goatee here i just noticed like the angular and its glow too so yeah so, um, give me a second here. I'm going to make it daytime again, and then we will get on to the items added in by this mod. 
All righty, guys. One more thing before uh, we get into the items. I almost forgot you guys to tell you guys about how to tame this creature. So, from what I have read here on their creature guide that they have up, this creature is a KO tame. So, just knock it out. And it eats exactly what the Baryonyx eats. So, what I'm guessing is fish and prime fish meat. And I do believe it would also eat the same kibble as well so yeah but anyways on to the next which are the items which simple two chibis and two structures and yeah so i heard that so we got the two little chibis here and to, they could do kind of look tadpole -y, so yeah i mean I actually kind of wonder, I might give a shot at breeding these guys and seeing if they come out looking a little different. Because they are, when you breed them, you do have to have them in water, like an amphibian, like the frogs. So yeah, but we got the two chibis here, we got the normal variant here on the left, and then we got the sunken variant on the right. So you might be wondering, how do I get these? Well, you get them in the same place you'll get this structure right here, which is the dossier. And we do have another dossier here, which, from what I can tell, does not drop yet in the game. This is for another creature that they're adding in here, probably. Hopefully soon, because it looks amazing. Can't wait to review it. But yeah, um, if you're wondering how to get this, I will flash up the spawn code right now. But from what I can tell, there's no other way to drop for it to drop. But for these other items, the way you get them to drop is by defeating the alpha variants of the Labi. So... From defeating the normal alpha variant, you get the normal chibi and the dossier. And, and, it does drop the alpha variants. They do drop, from when I was testing here, they do drop different, uh, you know, gradients of the saddle, like Apprentice. And I do got a, what is this one, Ramshackle? Yep. And I do, from when I was testing here, as you can see, two different uh, chibis. One from each different boss. So they do drop respectively, but yeah. And now, let me go quickly see about that breeding. Okay, so I got them breeding up here, and um, they're a little heavy, because they were up here when I started. And they've just slowly sunk. But yeah, they, from what I can tell, you do have to have them in water to breed. So, hopefully, we got a baby here soon that I can hatch. And, honestly, I don't know. I hate to admit this. I do. I do. I have red water creatures before. I did them with the Helicoprion. So, and I believe they just kind of hatched when I threw them out in the water. And I did give them to a hatchery there for a while, though, first. So, I'm wondering how these eggs work. Because I know it does drop uh, one of the like the aquatic eggs where it's round and then you got the other dark circle in the middle that's supposed to be like the yolk. So, yeah. Um, I'll get back to you here when I have the egg and I'm ready to hatch it. Okay, so surprisingly, the baby is bigger than the chibi. And it actually kind of looks normal. Like... Like a natural normal lizard, to be honest. You would probably think this one, if you did come across it in the wild, was full grown. Until you saw the parent. But yeah. So it's nothing like the... I do believe the frogs do hatch like tadpoles as well in the game. So they're nothing like that, but they are just a lizard that's amphibious. And has a water egg, surprisingly. But yeah. Uh... I think that's it for now on the Arc Horizons mod. Um, hopefully they do have that Sukio Mimus, I believe, which is this one. Dossier here. If I go and look real quick. Yeah, the Sukio Mimus. Hopefully this is the next creature that they have out because it looks awesome. I can't wait to review it. But for now, I think this is going to be it. So this has been Gunshy Mori signing off. And you know, if you want more Arc. Just leave a like and subscribe, and peace.